All right, if you like history and you're looking for a place to kick back, this may be the perfect destination for you. And this week's road trip close to home, News 12 photojournalist Lori Goliath takes us to a small town in Litchfield County where it's quiet and that's how they like it. We don't have a four lane highway going through Morris. We don't have red lights and stop lights. We don't have a great big shopping district. We don't have a Walmart. We're just a little tiny town still. We are standing in the old town hall in the town of Morris. This is neat. When Morris became a town in 18, 1859, we needed a town hall, so they built this building right here. In 19, uh, let's see, 1941, 1942, we had a Morris Volunteer Fire Department that began, and this became the firehouse. 1960, right across the street, a brand new building built for the fire department. And at that time, it did not need to be a fire department anymore. So eventually was uh, sold to the Morris Historical Society for $1 to use as a, as a history building. And that's what it is now. What's neat about this is that James Morris envisioned a co-educational institution. It's like most historical societies. You see stuff about farming. You see stuff about industry. This is early Amazon, literally. This is a buggy that went around from house to house. You can see slaby, dry goods, dress skirts, underwear, um, clothing. And as you look in the back here, it's full of stuff that would have been sold to the people as he went from house to house to sell. This is the old school bell that, that hung in the originally in the Morris Academy. We have lots of artifacts to show in this building. The old mill school house was founded in uh, 1772 and it's 250 years old. What you see inside the school is what a school would have looked like probably during much of the 1800s, early 1900s. Uh, it's a one-room schoolhouse, would have been kind of an elementary school. Um, some desks that were original to the, uh, to the building, not the 1772, but certainly into, into, the, uh, into the 1880s. Um, a kind of a neat look at, at early schoolhouses. Across the street in the, in the town hall, there's also another couple of wonderful buildings there that were donated in trust by later generations of the Morris family. It's a museum building and a reading room. The museum, the James Morris Museum, has the furniture that has been donated by Robert Clark Morris. Some of the items are from his apartment in New York. We have Bantam Lake, which is the largest natural lake in Connecticut. Most of it's in Morris, beautiful, beautiful area. And there's miles and miles of trails to bike or walk, so you could easily spend the day in town. You got Poppy's, which is a great place for ice cream. You got the deli, which is a great place for sandwiches. We're at the deli in Morris, which is in Morris, right in the center of town. Everything's homemade. Um, all our soups and sauces and relishes we make from scratch. Morris is wonderful. It's rural and it's very unique. If you kind of want to get away from the hustle and bustle of everything, Morris is a real good place to come and do that. All right, I have family that grew up there. It's a great spot. Tours of the Mill Schoolhouse and the Morris Historical Society are available for anyone that's interested. For more information, head over to news12.com.